When you wish upon a star, well, your dreams have just come true because after making four models available during the brand's relaunch in August 2022, Hyundai Motor Philippines Incorporated is set to launch a new model in November, the Stargazer. And here I am to give you a quick overview of Hyundai's new MPV. Yes, it's an MPV, and no, it's not going to compete against the Innova because this is Hyundai's entry into the compact MPV segment at just under 4.5 meters long. So it means competition will be the likes of the Expander, the Avanza, and even the Livina. Now, if you know your cars, those are three tough rivals. So let's see if this can compete. This body is something else. The overall shape says MPV, but Hyundai has completely made it their own with what they call the one curve design and the one box shape. Now, designers and marketing departments like their fancy words, but I'd rather just say, honey, I shrunk the Staria. Take a look at this grill and headlights, wheel wells, and the squarer shape of the entire front fascia due to this chrome trim at the hood's edge. Exterior equipment varies between the three trim levels. You got your GLS Premium, your GLS, and GL. Like this GLS Premium, it uses LED headlamps, while the GLS and GL only use halogen bulbs. Now, all GLS variants come with daytime running lamps, fog lamps, and vertical LED taillights, among others. Now, look at this shape right here. I mean, it barely has an angle from the hood to the wide windshield as it continues to flow smoothly towards the uh, rear spoiler with a high mount stop lamp. Now, what is quickly noticeable in the cabin is this flat dashboard and the wide open view of the road ahead. Now, this is a GLS premium variant, which has a smart key, a push button start system. You've got leatherette upholstery, center armrest, console box, an eight inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity, plus one of the best features, a wireless charging pad right here. In the instrument panel is a 4.2-inch TFT LCD display, and all Stargazer variants use a manual AC. The second row gets a few more GLS-exclusive features like the seat back tables, extra USB ports, and a lot of legroom because the second row seats are adjustable, which provides more legroom as well in the third row. The powertrain uses a SmartStream G 1.5-liter gasoline engine with continuously variable valve timing. It sends 115 PS and 144 newton meters of torque to the front wheels via Hyundai's intelligent variable transmission. Now it's the same as a CVT, but it, this one uses a chain belt. Plus it has Hyundai's shift control strategy technology for better response and efficiency. The GLS Premium has all the driver assist systems like high beam assist, lane keeping assist, safe exit warning, etc. The GLS gets some like electronic stability control, hill start assist, a rear view monitor, among others. The standard safety features across all trim levels are dual front airbags and ABS. Let's take it out and see how it feels. Initial impression of the driving performance, it's a little firm, which is typical of vehicles in the MPV segment because it is a seven-seater. So it's, you know, you're expected to put in load inside the vehicle. It rides tall as an MPV, so body roll will be there, if, especially if you're taking corners at high speeds. Steering is pretty light, which is again normal for vehicles in the MPV segment, but uh, what you like about it is it handles easily, you know, it, it, 
it's easy to maneuver, especially in tight spaces. That's going to be uh, one of the fun things you will expect, you will want to uh, you know, see from an MPV, right? Um, space is pretty good because it is a seven seater. So these are the things that, uh, you know, impressions that we get from our first few minutes. We're in a controlled environment, not a lot of seat time for us. So it's tough to tell how it performs on longer drives, but expect a, a full review when we get our hands on the vehicle after the launch in November. There's a new player in town and they're coming in hot with several new models, including this attractive MPV, the Stargazer. It has the looks and the features to be competitive in the segment, but will it be enough to win over buyers? Now the pricing will be key. They haven't released that information to us just yet, but given that this is made in Indonesia, just like its rivals, the Avanza and the Expander, we expect pricing to be competitive, or at least we hope it will be. Are you ready to reach for the Stargazer? Keep checking out AutoIndustria.com for when the launch will be and how much they will offer this for. I'm Eric Tipan from AutoIndustria.com.